Hello my soccer universe. For the Copa America update, the group stage is in the books and we had a big name game between Chile and Uruguay at the Maracana in front of a crowd that was very very much for Chile and I have to say this was outside of a Brazil game the first time that I really saw a full crowd at the Copa America. I only saw the goal by Edison Cavani Suarez on side, Rodriguez puts it in and Cavani heads it in in the 81st minute. Quickly reading up on it, the game was kind of headed for a nil-nil draw, both teams lacking creativity, kind of a stalemate between those two. But hey, if you have a Cavani in front, you're bound to get the winner. And so uh, Uruguay gets the first spot in this group, which actually makes it a little bit easier, I think, for them because they don't have to play Colombia, they just have to play Peru. Also not that easy, but yeah. Uh, I was personally happy to see uh, that part uh, going forward. The other match between Ecuador and Japan ends in a 1-1 draw where both teams would have needed a win to have a chance. Nakajima gets the goal. Um, was a, a counter-attack by Japan, a shot, the goalie comes out and then Nakajima gets the ball outside of the box, puts it in, quick Ravar review was fine. And Mena in the 30th, 35th, um, almost similar situation, uh, makes it 1-1, a game that doesn't help anyone because uh, both of them, Ecuador is in fourth place and Japan with two points, but minus four is not among the best third-ranked team. This is Paraguay, and it's kind of a little bit sad that with two points uh, you still are among the two best third-place teams, but hey, that's the uh, format. And yeah, both guest teams are out, to be honest. I'm not uh, so unhappy about that because we have not only South American teams in the South American Championship. That's where I have some trouble with those guest teams. If it was Mexico, I could even live with it or uh, some other, um, you know, CONCACAF team. But imagine Japan as Copa America champions. That is something I'm not so sure I could uh, fully subscribe to. But yeah, with that, we have the following quarterfinals. We have Brazil against Paraguay on the 27th. We have Venezuela play Argentina on the 28th, uh, a little bit later Colombia against Chile. Uh, that seems to be the matchup of the round and then on the 29th uh, we have Uruguay against Peru. And uh, in the bracket, yeah, Brazil, Peru, Paraguay plays the win of Venezuela, Argentina. Colombia, Chile plays the win of Uruguay, Peru. So, uh, interesting matchups ahead. Let's see if the tournament finally heats up a little bit, if there are even some crowds coming. Okay, fill me in if you know more about uh, Uruguay, Chile, especially or also the other game. I really only saw the goals, nothing else, and I read for about half a minute on Uruguay, Chile. So, sorry, I, the, my the zone didn't produce any highlights, which I would have loved. Give me a thumbs up if you still enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.